base location. Select is actually picking off something right now. Yeah, it is that planetary portion, so it's starting to flip over. Uh, Moonstalker is invading all those Marines and uh, Zerglings there. Yeah, so the Blink Stalkers are going to try and do as much damage as they can against this huge Marine Ball. And I think with Select Forces, they're going to be able to push through this. These Corruptors really aren't much use anymore, but here come the Broodlords. Five Broodlords are up, and those are going to be able to pick away those units and may turn this in favor of uh, Power Tech here. But nice Blink, and he's just going to start sniping these Broodlords one after another. But all the drones being pulled to attack as well. These Blink Sockers, though, nice control by Optic Zero, and he does manage to pick off all of the Broodlords, so they all go down. However, the drones exacting their revenge on these Siege Tanks. Yeah, the drones are going to finish them off, obviously. They have that minimum range. Optic Zero still manages to escape with four Stalkers intact. Select has a pretty decent-sized force here still to try and pick off this gold base again. A single Siege Tank, of course, not going to last very long against all those stimmable Marines and Siege Tanks of Select. Might want to avoid the Spine Crawler and the Impaler Tentacles when <laughs> you really don't need to be engaging those at all. You can just blast down that hatchery. There it goes, and someone's responding. Looks like here comes a big wave of Zerglings. If it gets around on those siege tanks quickly should be able to be okay. Corrupt is spamming corruption on everything, but that's really all they can do, but that does help. And adrenal glands mm -hmm. are actually finished for those links. Before they even had plus one melee attacks, they had adrenal glands finished. Cracklings, indeed. They, so They're called adrenalings, Cat's Pajamas. Blizzard does not approve of cracklings. <laughs> So here we go. We have power now on three bases. He's been mining off of this third for quite a while. So his economy looks good, but once again, Protech is way oversaturated on bases that are about ready to be mined out. He'll need to establish himself some uh, subsequent bases. Optic Zero has gone back into Void Rays, it appears, producing three at a time as this Corruptor Ball starts to be slowly turned over to Broodlords. In fact, there's only going to be six Corruptors left, so if he's able to get out nine, ten Void Rays, something along those lines, he's actually going to be able to overwhelm that Air Force. Um, so we'll see what he's able to do here. He does have a huge force of High Templar and Zealots with this as well. Storm is finished, and we're about to have another big engagement. Look at that. Select and Optic Zero have not just caught up, but pulled ahead in terms of supply. We're about to get a big glimpse into Optic Zero's multitasking abilities. He's not producing anything right now, but he did just finish up a Dark Shrine. So uh, if he can put these all over the map, that would be very, very interesting. See how effective it is. Broodlord slowly making their way to try and stop this siege from happening. Of course, there are a lot of charge lots and marines here to fight off those broodlings. Uh, storms going down and the void rays, those laser beams again, just smashing through those broodlings that cannot defend themselves here from the simple marines. But they just stand in the storm. There's really nothing they can do either. Select an optic zero really, really with a very strong push right now, just railing through here. Uh, four Broodlords do survive, but really to what end? It looks like Power was forced to retreat away from his mining base. Uh, Selected on Optic Zero really haven't taken much damage on any of their economies or bases in a long time now. No, absolutely not. Um, they did, yeah, manage to deny the one that was here in the top left-hand corner, but that really didn't do much as it wasn't all that far in its completion as well. Oh, looks like Select is going to make a big drop, and he is going to stop the construction of these units. Just takes the rest of his Marines and floats right on by. And what's going to be waiting for him? Well, really nothing. And Power has forgotten to go ahead and rally his units back in here in a second. Now, finally, some Marines being brought over. That's going to be able to put a stop to those shenanigans. But Select and Optic Zero are ready to rock with a big force of units. He does have some Void Rays that are starting to reinforce as well. The Broodlords are now going to make their way in, and that's going to force all of these units to start to engage here in a second. Unless, oh my god, Protech is just sacrificing so many of his Zerglings, letting those get torn up by the uh, Siege Tanks there. Optic Zero did just send in like five DTs, but unfortunately the worst timing ever is a scan drop right when they were stuck like in between all those Stalkers and Zealots, and they Aww. just got shelled. So DT's actually did absolutely nothing there. Um, I was curious to see if he was going to start splitting them all over the map, and, and just looking at the mini-map, you can tell that's not really happening. But uh, Select does have just a random medevac waiting there. That drop, not sure what happened with it earlier, but uh, we do have a big engagement again. Optic Zero looking comfortable with his Void Ray count. There's still basically no anti-air here left anymore after all those corruptors get flipped over to Broodlords, and Select has way, way more uh, actual mech and bio than power does. All those Thors actually in the fight now as well, just blasting and brutaling once those Broodlords are down. This is going to be a steamroll. Protech knows it. GG's out of there. And Sub Suns made of Dignitas Select and FXO up and are going to take a one game lead here. And I believe this is the best of three as well, right? Yes, it is, as a matter of fact. Until we get tomorrow to the third place and the finals match, this is in fact going to be a um, all best of three.